Third, Camagna Monferrato Grand Prix F1 on pedals, fifth of this season, and we go green in Camagna Monferrato. This is the start, but as usual, the start is not just go as fast as possible, but try and study your opponents while the weakest pilots run to the front to make a good show right from the beginning. Here we got number 13, François Zanardini, with some quite big troubles to the transmission. Now going through the hairpin, here in Camagna Monferrato the track is uh, something we call Monaco Formula 1 uh, Grand Prix, <coughs> because there are a good number of similarities. And here we go through the death dive. Not really deadly. Fortunately, <laughs> there were no casualties and no pilots were injured during the race. But as you can see, we got a quite a fast descent and a tricky corner at the bottom. Francois Zanardini is still running in front of the pack. Antonio Ruelli trying to pursue it. Isabella Serena, the woman in our races, and all the following pilots. Here we are on board Marco Ruga. We see, unfortunately, Antonio Luelli already has some troubles. Yeah, we can see. 24 seconds is the advantage taken by Francois Zanardini in the very first four laps. But after the four, the first four or five laps, the fastest pilots lit up their afterburners, and here we go. Antonio Rivelli, unfortunately, is on the way of retiring from the race due to technical issues. Marco Zanardini just overtook. Marco Ruga and Marco Ruga overtook uh, myself, Giacomo Righi, number 54. As I just mentioned, in these laps uh, things start to move. And someone defies the death descent and the death corner. Position start to change. Here you can see in the fir fifth lap, François Zanardini is taken back by the fastest pilot. Marco Zanardini with the violet uh, car. Number 61 has just taken the lead of the race, but uh, first victim of the death descent. Actually, not deadly for the pilot, unfortunately, but uh, for mechanical issues. The chain in all those jumps uh, down the descent, uh, jumps here and there and the falls off uh, line, so there's a lot of work uh, to do <laughs> while running to set it back in position. So Marco Zanardini lost his position and uh, Giacomo Righi could take his place and uh, uh, run forward with a good advantage. Here you can see them. While in the lead Marco Ruga tries to escape. Lap 9 takes the lead of the race and tries to go away. This sound proves clearly that something is going wrong. Yeah, another chain fall down. While we can follow the battle for 5th place, because Marco Zanardini could take uh, uh, his car into working condition and tries to 
fill the gap. All right, Marco Ruga again on the lead. <clears throat> Second time trying to escape. Will his car withstand Jeff descent in the death of corner? Marquinhos Zanardini has taken my car and overtook me. The battle for, between the stronger leg and the good aerodynamics uh, is coming to a twist. Marco Ruga again with troubles with uh, transmission. We are in lap 12, just three laps to go. What will happen? Car back in working condition, another overtaking on the way. How things will be going from here to the last lap of this race? Marco Ruga going cautiously down the death corner and Andrea Riboldi number 46 trying to fill up the gap. This is the last turn, Marco Ruga again running away, lapping myself, and uh, will I be able to get uh, Andrea Riboldi's trail <coughs> and take back uh, the fifth position or at least go fighting for the fifth? No, nope. this is the last lap, we have got a half lap of delay, I don't think miracles can be possible. Here we can see Alberto Serena with the car number one, green one, who tries to keep the pace but he lost too much distance to get back to fight for the second. Here we can see Isabella Serena still struggling with climbs and descents to make it to the end. Marco Zanardini still Keeping 5th position, we, he will end without being lapped. Marco Ruga keeping the lead. Andrea Riboldi, but Marco Ruga can win this race. Andrea Riboldi 2nd, not very far. Alberto Serena 3rd, still not very far. 4th will be Carmelo Crea with just half a lap of distance. 5th, Marco Zanardini unlapped. 6th, Giacomo Righi, the man in the little house running, 1st of lap the pilots, 7th, François Zanardini, who made the great run in the beginning with a, quite an old car with some troubles of transmission, 8th, Isabella Serena, 1st of the women, and here we go for the podium. All the teams assembled for this race and ready to go back home, <laughs> ready for the next race. So stay tuned for next funny events.